what's going on guys and welcome back to another video of a day in my life as an aircraft maintenance engineer in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys what i do as an aircraft maintenance engineer and also i will be explaining some key components in this video so stay tuned in today's video i'm going to be working on the airbus 3 30. and my task for today is to replace the LP filter which is the LP fuel filter um, before I show you guys how to remove or install the filter which is pretty easy um, let's learn a little bit more about this filter and what is the purpose and the function on this engine so what's the whole purpose of the LP fuel filter, which is my low pressure fuel filter? Um, first, the LP fuel filter is located at the low pressure side of the fuel system. Um, so basically the LP filter ensures um, fuel reaches the, before fuel reaches the EDFP, which is my engine driven fuel pump, um, it captures any type of dirt, metal particles, and debris and prevents them from reaching um, critical engine components. And also, the help you filter um, ensures clean fuel enter the high pressure system. Um, this filter protects the fuel pump and the fuel control units from any you know any type of debris metal particles and also ensures that you know the fuel flow is clean for combustion and so what happens when the fuel filter is clogged uh, well we have a bypass system um, so once the filter becomes too uh, restrictive um, the bypass valve actually opens and allows fuel to flow directly to the engine and to replace this fuel filter is pretty easy uh i believe we have just four bolts to remove um, which is uh, clearly access really good and we also have a drain uh, which i'm going to show you guys how to drain the fuel first before you remove the filter so now i'm about to remove the fuel filter and i want you guys to understand this is just a reference uh you want to make sure you follow your amm um, I already did all my safety precautions, um, you know, my cycle breakers, um, and this video is edited. So, um, you know, you want to make sure you follow your AMM. Um, so right now I'm just trying to drain the fuel, um, from the fuel filter. And that is because there's always, uh, some residues of fuel, uh, present in the fuel filter. So I'm trying to remove the cut up, the lock wire. I'm sorry, um, but the whole purpose of the law choir is to prevent um, the fastener from losing due to vibration of the engine. So before you remove the drain plug, you want to have some type of um, bucket or a plastic that can collect um, the fuel. Um, I cannot fit in a bucket in there. That's why I'm using a funnel uh, and I'm going to show you guys the whole setup. Um, so this is just to prevent me having fuel drilling all over the engine and making sure my job is clean uh, once i'm done all right guys so now i am removing the drain plug um and it's a pretty easy one i believe this size is um three quarters um size of wrench um it's an easy one um the torque is like what 220 200 inch pounds um, but sometimes it could get a little bit hard to remove and that's just because of the temperature of how how this engine get um and that could actually hardens the, the fastener but i got lucky with this one it was not that hard to remove um like i told you guys previously the whole purpose of the funnel there is to prevent the residues of fuel from draining all over the the engine as you can actually see how the fuel is draining so my funnel is connected to an hose and the hose is plugged into a bucket so that's the whole setup i'm not, i'm going to show you guys in this video how the whole setup works but yeah it's an easy one um like i said you got to drain the fuel first once you drain the fuel then you can actually start removing the the five bolts that holds the the filter which i'm going to show you guys in this video
all right guys so now i'm going to remove the bolt that holds the filter in place um i believe it's like five of them um pretty easy one i believe the torque is about what 150 120 pounds i'm not sure you got to make sure you check out amm for that but i got lucky with this one and because um sometimes the bolts really gets really hard to remove and that is because of the temperature of the engine um and it's really it makes the bolt sometimes really really hard to remove uh, but yeah easy tax to do drain the fuel remove the bolt and that is it it's, a, it's an easy one <laughs> All right, guys. So once I remove the filter and I've done my inspection for in the filter housing to make sure there is no type of debris or metal um, chips, the next thing I'm gonna do is to replace the O-ring for the filter uh, cap. Um, and the whole purpose of the O-ring is to prevent any type of um, fluid leakage um, during the uh, engine operation. Um, so basically this o-ring seals the surface of the cap and also the surface of the filter housing uh, when placing the o-ring you want to make sure the o-ring is seated properly because i have seen situations whereby some people don't really um put it properly um and it could be really deceiving uh and that's because you know sometimes the o-ring tend to slide out easily um so you want to make sure you put it properly and it's a pretty easy one um, like I said, the installation is not that bad at all. And I will be doing the same thing for the drainage plug. So I'm going to be replacing the O-ring for the drainage plug. Um, same process. You want to make sure the seal is there properly. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you. All right, guys. So now for the installation one, as you can see, there is a holes and groove um, on the filter and also the housing. Uh, you want to make sure the filter is seated properly inside. Um, and me personally, I like to give the filter a little bit of pressure, a little bit of push, just to make sure it's all symmetrical inside. Um, and also for the hub cap, as the same thing, there's a groove there. Um, and so. The same way you put the hub cap inside, uh, make sure it's seated properly. Um, so the whole purpose of the hub cap is going to make the filter even more straight. Um, and you can just put your bolt um, on top. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty easy installation. Uh, this should not take, usually like it takes like a 20, 30 minute job for the installation. Um, but yeah, you wanna make sure you follow your AMM and the whole procedure, make sure you're doing the right thing.
all right guys so now after my installation of the boat i'm just doing my final torque uh me personally i like to do a cross torquing so i go diagonally uh and the reason why i do that is to make sure it's set properly um then after i do like a round work to so make sure i got all the boat like i said it's a pretty easy one i believe this torque was like uh 220 each pounds something like that 200 each pounds but yeah, you want to make sure you reference your AMM because your AMM tells you the uh, truth work. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's an easy job. Like I said, it's not a hard job. It literally takes you like 30 minutes for the installation. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, after the installation of the house and the next thing I'm doing right now is the installation of the drain plug, um, which is the same thing, you know, the threaded bolt, uh, you want to make sure you torque it. I believe the torque was like around 150 inch pounds, 120. Well, hey, you want to make sure you reference your AMM because the AMM is going to tell you the actual torque. Then after your, you know, after your torque, then you got to do a lock wire. Uh, maybe one of these days I'm gonna make a video showing you guys how to do a proper log wire. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's a really easy tax, um, no complications. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It should take you like around 30 minutes to get this done, to be honest. Uh, it's not a bad job at all. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I appreciate you guys for always showing love for you guys that are new to my channel. My name is Peter. I am an aircraft maintenance engineer and I do make advisory um, videos regarding aircraft maintenance engineer. So if you need someone to guide you through on how to become an aircraft maintenance engineer, you know, you can learn from my mistake. I can show you some tips on how to become one. I do offer free consultation. All you got to do is text me on Instagram. I'm going to put my Instagram down in the description. All you got to do is text me. We can set up a call, all right? For you guys that are new to my channel, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Love.